Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of our Selenium in JavaScript tutorial series. In this video, we're going to be talking about uploading. So there may be instances in which you want to upload a file with Selenium. And I'll show you one way, there are multiple ways, but I'll show you the easiest and most simplified way to do it. So here we are on the site filebin.net, it's just a random site that I found that allows you to upload a file. And as you can see here, you have this button, you can click on the button, and it allows you to upload whatever file you want. So you can click on a file and then it's uploaded and it appears here. So let's get into Selenium and see how we can make this happen using only Selenium. All right, so I already have all the code written out, but let's look at what it does line by line and see if we can understand it. So we have the basic here. We're defining our buy key and builder keywords with the Selenium web driver. We're also requiring the Chrome driver. You can use whatever other driver, such as the Gecko driver for Firefox or whatever other browser you may want to use that Selenium supports. But for this tutorial, we'll be using Chrome. And we have our main function that we're calling at the end, upload. And remember, this is an asynchronous function. And basically what asynchronous and await mean are, it basically waits for a promise to be delivered. And once that promise is delivered, it acts on whatever the await command or whatever is behind the await command, the await keyword. So we're first creating our driver with the builder for the browser Chrome, and then we're actually building it using the build method. And then we're getting the URL of the website we want to scrape from or use Selenium with. And now we're getting the input element by using the find element method of the driver class. So driver.findElement, by the ID of that element, and if we go back to the website, you can see, let's go back to the original page. You can see that if we right click and inspect, the ID of this element is file field. So now we use the by.id method and put file fields inside of here. So now we're getting that element by its ID. And then you can use the send keys method to send whatever file you want to that button or to that input. Now you see normally if you were using, if you were just on the website by yourself and you were not using any code to help you, you'd click on it and then it opened the file system manager that exists on your computer. But recognize that we don't have to do that with Selenium. We can just instantaneously send whatever we want to that input. We don't need to click on the button. We, we don't need to simulate the user clicking on the button and then picking out the file they want. We can just choose the file outright and send it directly to the input element. And after we've used that send keys method, that's basically it. We've sent that file and then it's been sent to that website. So now let's actually run this code and see how it looks like in real time. So I'm using the node upload. And as you can see, it opens up the website and it sent the file upload.js. So it sent the same exact file that we're writing to right here. Let's open it and look at how it see and see how it looks like. As you can see, it's the exact same code. All right, so that was just a very basic tutorial of the easiest method for sending files or sending whatever you want to a website that uses an input element. I hope you guys have enjoyed this and I hope it's useful to you. If you have, please leave a like and subscribe. You can also ask me any questions down in the comment section down below or in Discord. Also, feel free to check out our Patreon. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.